there's one type of operations that's a bit inefficient to me in Blender when editing videos by default. It's cutting and trimming. This is the backbone of an editor's job. This is the thing you're going to do the most. And the problem is by default, it's uh, five or six operations just to do a cut. So let's see how it is in Blender and how you can uh, make this a single or a two-step operation with the add-on. By default, you have to select strips. You place the time cursor where you want to cut. You're going to place your mouse cursor on the side you want to select after you cut. You press K for knife and it's going to cut and select on the right side there. Then to trim, you move the mouse cursor, the time cursor. You move the mouse cursor to select the other side of the cut. So right now on the left side, you press K again you get the selection, you press X, normally it prompts for deletion, uh, you have to confirm it, not with the add-on. Then uh, if you press backspace to remove the gap, it won't work because your time cursor is at the start of the strip on the right, so you have to move the time cursor at least by one frame to the left and then press backspace. Okay, so that's a lot of operations just to do something we could do in two clicks. So with the add-on, you can do it this way. You can control action mouse, so left click by default, to cut. Uh, this is, it tries to be smart about it. If you control click on a strip, it's going to only cut this strip. So you can edit one strip at a time. And if you control click outside of the strips, it's going to cut using the time cursor. So it's going to cut the entire uh, frame in all channels, okay? Then you can do the same with control right click to trim. All right, and you can see that when I trim by default, it removes the gaps as well. Now you can uh, force it to apply to the entire frame range. And for this, you're going to use control shift action click. And right now it's control alt right click or a select click for trim, uh, which might change in the near future. But the interesting thing about that is you can click on the strips directly instead of outside the strips by default for extra precision. This is something if you're editing live footage, like this is the case right now, uh, it's something you're going to need often. And this way you don't have to bother about parenting the audio to the video because you're always cutting them together, which is one of the in issue otherwise in Blender. You have to make sure that they are always in sync, uh, exactly the same size for Blender to select both strips at the same time. On top of this, you can do uh, something else that's interesting. Say I have a gap here. If I control click inside, remember control action mouse is for cut, it's going to open quote, cut the gap. So let me do this. I control click in the empty space and boom, my um, gap is gone. The other thing that's interesting is you can use this to trim the audio where there are um, unwanted sounds. Maybe at this point, for example, I, I may want to just cut this or cut some silent noise. I can control click on the strip and control right click to trim. In which case, it's not going to remove gaps just in the channel because it detects that there's a video on top of this. And this is something you may want to do often in videos of this nature. Uh, if you uh, hesitate, for example, in a tutorial, you want to remove a few words, but you want to keep continuous footage, you can do this you can chop it up and then select the first strips and press C to concatenate the next ones, bring the audio back. And you can keep editing thanks to the tools. You don't have to select anything. You can modify the frame range directly. You have some options for the cut tool. Uh, you cannot set them with the F6 key, as you'll see. The redo is not supported on this one because it does quite a few things. It calls multiple operators. But um, if you go to your key maps by pressing Control alt u the Blender preferences, to the input tab, then you can search for the mouse cut strips. 
operators and you enter them and there you have the options. Use link time will make it so when you click on one strip, it's going to uh, select linked strips at the same time. Um, doesn't work extremely well as soon as you start chopping up the audio separately from the video, which is very common. You're gonna be unable to use link times properly. Remove gaps, very useful. Uh, this is the option that makes it so the tool uh, removes the, the gaps whenever you trim something. The selection mode, normally this is set for you um, in the add-on by default. Smart is going to alternate between the mouse and time cursor mode. This is what I shown you when you uh, control click outside the strips, it's going to cut the entire range because you don't have anything selected. And if you click on something, it's going to select it and only cut this strip. This is the smart mode. Time cursor is going to use the time cursor and cut all channels and mouse only works if you click on a strip. Uh, then the mode is going to be cut or trim. This is set for you in the shortcuts as well. Trim trims the strip uh, and cut cre just creates a cut. You have an auto move cursor. Uh, this one, when you have the playback active and you trim something, it's going to move the time cursor back along with the strips and um, it also tries to move it with a little offset so you can preview the cut. Okay, so the offset is in frames. Right now it's eight by default, but you can modify it. So time cursor moves back a little before the cut and it's going to play back over it again. Um, cut gaps is going to uh, let you cut the gaps with the mouse, I think. And uh, snap trim, when trimming, snap to closest cuts. I think this one, I'm not sure it works perfectly. It's going to make it so when you trim something, for example, uh, this, uh, this sequence, it's going to, when I trim this sequence, it's going to snap back to the cut that's closest to it. Um, again, doesn't always work the best. One last thing I want to show you, I think, yes, the shortcut is Alt G for now. Uh, it's the alternate grab. You don't have to select anything. Just say you just trimmed something and you want to move the video a bit compared to the audio. Again, something very common when editing live footage, uh, you often want the audio to start playing slightly before the cut uh, because we are much faster to um, adapt to the sound and it gives us a bit of anticipation to what's going to happen after the next cut. In which case you can press Alt G to uh, grab automatically the handles. And if you are very close to a cut, Alt G will grab both sides of the cut. You can do this with Shift Alt right click in Blender, which adds these handles on both sides of a, both sides of a cut uh, to the selection. But sometimes you can see if you start to re-click, it's still going to grab the handles. Alt G, anytime, anywhere, regardless of your selection, it's going to clear the selection and just select the cut so you can slide it around.